Uh, my name is Thomas Chantre. I did uh, thir 30 years in the military. Uh, first uh, four years I was in the Air Force, and in the last 26 years or so I was in the Coast Guard. I received num numerous or multiple concussions, head injuries, and the major one was um, on a hangar deck working on a plane and fell and hit my head and got knocked out, wound up in a coma. And when I came out of it, I was doctor. I think they said about 90-95% uh, memory loss. I, that was 1993-ish, I think. I don't drive by myself anymore. Um, too many times having to contact my wife to find out what road I, you know, <laughs> how do I get home? It's a, a short-term and long-term memory loss. Uh, I, reading, I can't read anymore. Anxiety, um, depre de depression, so social dysfunctions. I don't like being around new people. Crowds. I, I just um, I don't like to be let, uh, left alone by myself. I have violent outbursts, anger outbursts, a um, whole bunch of. I'm sorry, I'm forgetting something. But do you have headaches? <laughs> yes, I do. Yes. How often do you have headaches? Do you think? <sighs> Multiple times a week. Um, some are worse than others. Trouble sleeping? Yes, I got um, prescribed. Um, so the next one is really bad to help me try and get to sleep. I just completed 40 hyperbaric oxygen treatments and noticed a large improvement, great improvement. Uh, my speech is a whole lot better. I've been told that I'm speaking better and people understand me better. My walking has drastically improved. I think that's the biggest thing I've, I've noticed. Um, headaches have, are not as bad. Uh, the, the frequency of the headaches are not as frequent and the pain of some of them is, is not as bad. Um, I think I've gotten a better outlook on life. I've, I'm happier at times. Um, I'm not as mean, ornery, right? Some of the words that I'm, I've been called. But I believe I'm, I mean, I've still got problems with my memory, um, but I'm starting to recall things that I've, that I've been able to remember, you know, it's getting better. I've been able to remember some things I haven't been able to remember. Um, Reading has also improved that um, before I started my HBOT uh, treatments, my reading had deteriorated where I couldn't read at all. Uh, it was slowly deteriorating where I could maybe read a, pa a page or to a paragraph down to, if I was able to read the uh, one or two lines underneath, underneath a picture and understand that I was good, but after even that got, I could not read, read that. Now I can uh, picked up a magazine the other day. I was able to read a couple paragraphs, and I was—I couldn't remember the whole thing, but I was able to remember what it was about, a little bit about about what it was. So I was very happy with myself about that, and it gives me hope for the future. But so it's—it's it's getting improved. I don't like being around, meeting new people or crowds, but it's not it doesn't eat at me. And you know, if I got to go somewhere, I, I don't—you know—it doesn't get eat at me from the inside. I'm not terrified or, of anything. So it's. That also has improved. It's helped me. It's helped uh, I, everyone I know here that, that's gone through it. I've watched pe other people start and go through it, and they've gotten the help with it. Um, it's given me hope for the future. I, I have a better outlook on life. Um, you know, before I was like, I had no no hope for future. I was just sitting waiting, you know, waiting for the next bad thing. But now I'm I'm enjoying life again. You know, as such it is. I'm not back to nowhere near back to normal where it was, but I don't know if I'll ever get there, but I'm a lot better off than I was before I started the, the H-Bot.